Come live in me all my life. Take over. Come live in me and I will rise on eagles' wings. Come live in me all my life take over oh come live in me and i will rise on eagles wings Come live in me all my life. Take over. Come live in me and I will rise. On eagles' wings. The winds are blowing again. The winds are blowing again. Just like the days of Pentecost. I heard this song last night. I was playing. <laughs> I was playing basketball. I heard this song last night. This this an old time hymn. You're not gonna hear it today, basically, but it's an old time hymn. The winds are blowing again. The winds are blowing again. Just like the days of Pentecost, the winds are blowing again. The winds are blowing again. The winds are blowing again. Just like the days of Pentecost, the winds are blowing again. The winds are blowing again. The winds are blowing again. Just like the days of Pentecost, the winds are blowing again. The winds are blowing again. The winds are blowing again, just like the days of Pentecost. The winds are blowing again, the winds are blowing again, the winds are blowing again, just like the days of Pentecost. Just like the days of Pentecost, just like the days of Pentecost, the winds are blowing again. Saints, I'm talking about the rich life of King Jesus and money angels. See, the Lord came with an abundance mandate. That means that to give you more than you ever had of something that you like and enjoy. He came with the abundance mandate. So he wants to target the things that make life enjoyable to you. In the book of Timothy, it said that he give you all things to richly enjoy. And so the Lord has your enjoyment a part of his will. There are things that you enjoy specifically that another person will not enjoy. So, so God is knowledgeable about that. The father knows the distinguishing of your enjoyments, the, san the sanctification of your enjoyments that is different from the next woman and is different from the next man. 
the rich life of King Jesus and angels. Angels know the riches ability of the Lord. They know it. They see it. They view it every day. They know the beauty of heaven. They know that he has streets of gold. They know that the elders lay down their crown and their crown is worth more money than you could ever announce on earth. A lot of people don't think about that. When the 24 elders lay down their crown before Jesus, their crown worth more than anybody that you could say on earth, they worth this amount of money. Their crowns is worth more. Their crowns. Not even them, their crowns. The mansions in heaven are way more larger than what you see on earth. Jesus said in my father's house are many mansions. Jesus called this big, unlimited place a house. It said inside the house are mansions. Now on earth, we consider mansions like bigger than a house. We'd be like a mansion, big, that's, that's big. But Jesus said the mansions is within the house. But this is an unlimited measure. I'm talking about the rich life of King Jesus and money angels. So, so money angels, they move in the life of sowing on earth and they bring your attention into sowing and honoring God. That's what they do. The money angels, they bring your attentiveness into honoring God with your finances. They bring money opportunities to you. If you ain't got no money to sow, you can't sow. So they bring money opportunities to you. They give you money ideas. Money angels already know what God could do. Their whole objective is to see you adapt to the mindset of God. To take on the kingdom abundance mindset. To take on the expectation for miracles and harvests and increase. To take on the hopefulness of having more than enough. They want you to believe in God's ability to take care of you lavishly, not struggling, not on budgets, not barely taking care of you, but to really loose your soul into recognizing that the Lord can lavishly take care of me greater than the economy on earth, greater than the government on the earth. There's a government that's upon Jesus' shoulders. The money angels know of this government that's on Jesus' shoulders. They know of it. They know how it flow. They know how it work. They know, they know how the Lord has reserved provisions that you've never seen. Money angels are watching the houses and lands that God has for you on earth. That's the wild thing. Angels could see your cars, your trucks. Your wardrobe, they can see the outfits that you're going to wear. They know the life that you're going to live. So, so saints, when money angels come into your life, they're not coming into your life playing around with doubt and unbelief and worry and stress. They'll look at you like you're a fool. They're like, because they could see the other side of this. There's a light at the end of this tunnel, shining bright at the end of this tunnel for you. There's, there's a Christian song. You got to search that on YouTube. You'll find it. The Christian contemporary songs be hitting, boy. I think that's, uh, who is that? That's, um, keep holding on. There's, uh, I wish I knew that name. I, I want, I want to actually give you that name for real, for real. Yeah, because you, you got to hear that song. And, and then, then you'll know how I sung it like that. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. Shining bright at the end of this tunnel. For you. For you. Keep holding on. Oh, oh. Keep holding on. Man, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick to. I'm gonna stick to the normal. You know, when you hang around black people, you start saying, 
keep holding on. But when you hang around white people, you say, keep holding on. Now that's still black people. Keep holding on. No. Keep holding on. That's a white, that's a white people right there. Keep holding on. Yeah, third day. That's it. Denise, what you know about it? There you go. There it is. White people, keep holding on. Borderline black people, keep holding on. Black, black people, keep holding on. <laughs> black, black people, keep holding on. Black, 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 black. Keep holding on. Black, black, black. Keep holding on. <laughs> the rich life of King Jesus and angels. Them money angels, they they actually could see your harvests before you sow the seed. So so money angels move more in the the the, the direction of boldness and confidence. They don't understand what if it don't happen. They don't, money angels don't understand what if I remain poor? What if I never come out financially? They don't understand that because they actually could see money that God has for you. When you start sowing, you must become at ease, recognizing that you just activated a ministry that has never been denied. When you start sowing, you must be at ease because you have just activated a ministry that has never been denied. What ministry are we talking about? The ministry of money angels. They are ministering spirits. They are a part of that department, that group, that army of spirits that minister for you. Ministering spirits of money, they minister for you Financial gladness, financial gladness, financial satisfaction, satisfaction guaranteed through the seed. Money angels already could see provisions that you get concerned about. If you take a note, write that down. Money angels are submissive to the Lord Jesus and his love to see you rich. If you take a note, write that down. Money angels are submissive, submissive to the Lord Jesus and his love to see you rich. Jesus adores seeing you have more. That's his longing. The longing of Jesus is to see you obedient to what his will is and receiving the benefits of his will. Sowing is the will of God. But reaping is the will of God also. The Lord created sowing because he wanted you to reap. When you sow, God is reaping. When you reap, God is sowing. 